fills up, quits. Hmm. I have a problem with the lid switch, but I've already tested it. The lid switch seems to be good. Or something else. So, we will get all this stuff out of here, take it over here, and test it. Let's do a test on this. When I test the machine, I like to look inside it to see what it's doing. And on these G's, the way you do that is you take your console screws out, and then you take these two screws out from the inside of the console. Spanky. Alright, now he can lift up and knock it loose of these clips up here. And now we can raise it up and look inside and see what's going on. Got it plugged in, we're going to put it in test mode. So you hold this button down, you turn it 7 clicks or 180 degrees, and you let go until all these start flashing. Now I'm going to get my sheet out just because I know what the lights are, but this sheet is going to be found on the lower bottom left corner of your machine and you can take it off it's on there with a piece of blue tape now see that blue tape right there it's secured to the bottom of the machine and a lot of times it's in a plastic bag sometimes it's not anyway after you put it in test mode you want to test these things so we don't have it hooked to water but we can listen for the valves so if you turn this until these lights are on, that right there will tell you the version, which we don't really need. We want to check the hot water valve. We turn it on, and we can hear that solenoid on the hot water side, and I can see that humming. Turn it off, and the cold water valve is all three. And again, I hear the solenoid. And I feel it vibrating. Now, does it have a fabric softener on this? Yeah, I can hear the valve come on. Spray rinse, we check it. It's on. Pressure sensor, we don't have it hooked to water. To do this pressure sensor, you'll have to fill it with water and watch for the lights as they come on on the two, three, four, five, six, and seven inch levels. This one doesn't have a recirculation pump, but we can try and see. It doesn't, don't hear it. Now, we want to put on the drain pump. I hear it, and it's also actually pumping a little bit of water out. And we do the lid switch test. We have all these lights on. So, when the lid switch, when you press the start, if the lid is open, the spin status comes on. And if the lid is closed, the rinse. So, it's closed, the so rinse should come on and flash, and it does. And if we open it, the spin comes on and it and flashes, and it does. So, we know our lid, our lid, um, switch works we don't know if our lid lock work lock works but we will know in a minute because we're going to do spin test and spin test is these three lights and we'll turn that on and i want to watch god told me it wasn't spinning out we'll watch what goes on so it should open a valve it does there was two valves let's see what happens Lid locked. Huh. Oh. It cut off. Alright. So it started the motor, started to spin, and then it cut off. So what's probably happening is the motor speed sensor's not 
giving the motherboard the right signal. So, yeah. So it got hung up on the spin tip and it won't, it won't come back off. So we have to cancel this out. Let's hold this down until we cancel. Cancel. Let's put it back in test mode. I always start it. I always start up here at, at 12 o'clock. So seven clicks off. Wait for them all to flash and we're going to try the agitate mode. There it goes. So agitate all four. So let's turn it till we get let's spin, let's agitate. Let's see what agitate will do for us. And it stopped. So I'm thinking our motor speed sensor is bad. So the motor feed speed uh, feedback motor speed feedback hard to say is not functioning right guarantee you it is motor speed sensor so and the motor speed sensor on the GE is on the motor itself unlike the shift actuators on the Whirlpool style machines Romana Whirlpool Conservator and others So, what we're going to do is change the motor speed sensor. That is a 10 on the bottom of GE's. Is this little gadget right here locked in there? That is going to be a half inch. one of these motor speed sensors off you need to remove pulley nope ah, you can get to it I broke this one trying to get it without pulling the pulley now it's got some clips inside and you just kind of Pull the clips back either side and it comes right off. That was no good anyway. So now let's see if we got one. Motor speed sensor. Now this one should be identical. And we slip it on. And clip it on like that. There we go. Now, now we can put this better back.
Okay, let's put put all our devices in. So it has that little red tag in it. Keeper. See, this one's probably good. It just and like bad. Uh, you can see from the rust, it probably had some a bad. Uh, oh, what you got? Um, seagulls. So now we changed our motor speed sensor. Let's hope that motor speed sensor is good. Because I have a bad habit of just changing motors out to the sensors. Mugged it up. Is this the one? I think this is it. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's it. Get our nut. And that is a, I think it's a 15. 14. That's a 14 nut on the end of that shaft. Up there, put this back on. Let's set it up and test it before we put the guard on. We may have to be ordering a motor speed sensor. And we'll put it back in test mode and see if it spins this time. And I already locked down the top, but that's okay. If it doesn't spin, I'll have to buy a motor speed sensor. Alright. Starting on 12. Hold down this. Turn it seven times. Wait for all these to flash. They're all flashing. I can turn. I want three lights on those three well we've got rust all over now we'll see if it'll lock and spin and continue to spin spinning 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 hasn't stopped yep. that was it motor speed sensor so now we have this one working and we'll sell it we'll clean it up and sell it so when your machine won't operate then you get that fault code for lid lock it may not be the lid lock if you test the lid lock and, and it's working it's definitely not the lid lock so it can only be that motor speed sensor and it's not plain on the data sheet that that that's the problem so you need to change that and when you change that you need to be real careful with it i wasn't too careful getting that one off you have to take the motor off to get that sensor off anyway it's spinning up nicely now and once i clean it up i have another machine that i can sell that someone gave me It's really spinning now. Let's give it a test. Let's put some clothes in it and then we'll test it. And got my clothes in there. Push, push, push. 